Right, it's been said by presidents, economists, and scientists, America is addicted to oil and something has to change. That's right, and tonight, as Dave Malkoff reports, that change is starting to come from the oil industry itself. When thousands of scientists, most of them working for big oil, show up at a convention and fly flags for companies like Halliburton, the last thing you would expect them to do is to accept what this man has to say. Yeah, I'm Scott Tinker, I'm the state geologist of Texas. Energy powers our lives. Scott is also a filmmaker who spent the last several years of his life traveling the world looking for alternative fuels. An oil man who wants to move away from oil. Oil will probably never run out. What will happen is demand will pull it, get too expensive, we switch to something else. Switch is the name of his documentary. Oil is running out. Or is it? Coal can be clean. Or can it? Most of the broad public doesn't really understand energy. In the film that played here at the American Association of Petroleum Geologists convention, Dr. Tinker explains how everything from blue jeans to your family dinner uses some kind of energy. In your weekly shopping cart of groceries, there's the equivalent of 22 gallons of gasoline. What people don't understand right now is they think it's kind of an either or. Just turn off the coal switch and turn on wind. Just turn off oil and turn on biofuels. Can't be done. Why? scale. There are simply too many people around the world who use a tremendous amount of energy. Dr. Tinker found something interesting here in India. We have 600 million people in this country without access to electricity. And globally, according to the International Energy Agency, there are nearly one and a half billion people who also don't have access to any kind of electricity. That's nearly one fifth of the Earth's population that could be plugging in to that demand very soon. So China, for example, is commissioning one large coal power plant every week. An independent research organization called the East-West Center and other sources say that is absolutely true. But the organization that put on the convention, Tinker's the former president, by the way, say they are still divided as to how much people and the CO2 we make contribute to global warming. The American Meteorological Society and the National Academy of Sciences say man-made carbon is the problem. However, after shooting the film, Dr. Tinker says there is a way to catch it at the source. And we found out you can do that. You can take it out and store it, but it's really expensive. And there's something you can do. There's something I can do. We can become efficient in the way we use energy in our daily lives. And that's a huge piece of of understanding that, again, most of the world, particularly the Western world, doesn't fully understand. Bottom line, and no one argues with this, there is no quick fix to the energy crisis or global warming. Whoa. <laughs> Politically and electrically charged problems that need global solutions. In Long Beach, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. I like that car. Well done. Yeah. Is yeah. this fireworks at Dodger Stadium tonight? Nice. I think it is. I think it that is. That is not a videotape. That is live, nope. peeps.